It can all change for Shiba Inu in 48 hours. 40 hours from now, we've got a big, huge event that's going to happen that is going to impact all of crypto, not just Shiba Inu. So this can impact and will impact every single coin and every single token, especially in the top 20 to 50, if you own ones in that top range, right? Cardano, XRP, you know, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Shiba Inu, all those kind of things. It can impact this. That's what we're going to get into in this video. If you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button below. Let's do this. That is Tradex channel sponsor link in the description below. And let me tell you real quickly before I tell you, I've got a new YouTube channel. Links in the description below. Check it out. It's a new called Top 5 Live. Started with my wife. Please go over and give it a subscribe and check out a couple of videos. Completely different types of content that you're not used to seeing from me. Different side of me and all that kind of stuff. All right. So 48 hours. 48 hours from now, we have got a major event. And that, yes, it is the Federal Reserve FOMC meeting. And yes, I'm going to keep talking about this because not all of you guys see all my videos. And I've got to keep you aware of it. Okay. That's my job sitting in this seat is to help you navigate crypto and help you know what the heck is ha happening and what's coming at you, both positive and negative. So it can all change for Shiba Inu in 48 hours. And here is why. So right now, crypto is down as of the recording of this video to pinpoint when you're watching it, we're down about one and a half percent. Not bad. Okay. This is volatility on the downside because people are scared, kind of fear, uncertainty and doubt. They don't know what's going to happen on Wednesday, February 1st with the Federal Reserve meeting with Chairman Powell and his speech. What's he going to say? What's he not going to say? Is he going to be bearish in his comments? Is he going to be bullish in his comments? All that is fear. Okay. So, so yeah, you got Bitcoin, Ethereum down almost 2% respectively, uh, Doge down 4% and SHIB down 2.74. SHIB tends to react more aggressively than say Bitcoin and Ethereum. We have a lot of emotionally based people who own SHIB. There's nothing wrong with that, but we've got a lot of new investors in SHIB. So we tend to react on the down days, SHIB tends, tends to react more negatively. And on the up days, it tends to react more positively. It's okay. It is what it is, right? But right this second, SHIB's down about three plus percent. Okay. I expect this to continue to be kind of the trend because we got fear, uncertainty, and doubt out there. Uh, and we don't have as seasoned investors in SHIB. Again, nothing wrong with that. I'm just straight up telling you that's what's going on. Okay. So the next 40 hours could change this. So what we are expecting on Wednesday, February 1st, and this does impact SHIB, it impacts all your crypto. We're expecting a 25 basis points raise, which you, all you need to care about in this, in this regard is that the number, that is the number that the street, the stock, the stock market street and, and the crypto street, the market is, is built in. That's the number we're expecting. So that if we get that number, then we should be fine. And that sets the stage for February and pretty much March. Okay, we've been getting good CPI data reports. The job reports are, are, are coming in line. So all indicators are is that we'll get this 25 basis points. We could even get no interest rate. If we get no interest rate hike, you're going you're gonna to see the market scream and take off. If we get 25 basis points, we could see a little bit of a, uh, a green candle running up to the event, kind of the buy the rumor and sell the news kind of thing. And then we could get a little bit of a dump on Wednesday per whatever Chairman Powell says in his speech. I realize there's a lot of moving parts here, but again, subscribe to the channel. I'll keep you updated, okay? Um, that's what's happening, all right? Now, if we get the 25 basis points, I've already laid out that scenario. For Shiba Inu, though, it will ride along, remember, because it rides along with all of crypto, right? So Shib, Shib, <laughs> being a top 15 crypto, it just got taken back over by Avalanche. Look at that, six point. Uh, so 6 billion, 405 million, 6 billion, 401 million. So Avalanche just took that spot back over. So SHIB being a top 15 crypto, it will roll along with Bitcoin, Ethereum, and the rest of the market, depending upon what's happened. So the next 40 hours, it could all change for Shiba Inu. And quite frankly, cards on the table, it could go either way. We could get a nice scream up, screaming kind of woohoo, fun up, or we could, you know, see some downside risk here. Again, I, I just don't have a crystal ball. That's the reality. Okay. We're expecting good news. So I'm not expecting a lot of downside risk right now, unless the federal reserve surprises us and gives us a 50 basis points raise or God forbid a 75 basis points raise. I'm not expecting those. I'm we're expecting the 25. That's what I got for you. Thank you. And have a good day. Go make some money. See you. Bye.